Hello. This video is the continuation of the previous one in which the principle of the LVDS signal was discussed. This time, we will see how the video signal is processed from the motherboard to its display on the LCD screen. First of all, what is a video signal? It is an electric signal which includes several information among which we will find the distribution of the colors red, green and blue. It is the signal known as RGB. Each pixel of the screen is actually composed of three sub-pixels made of the three primary colors which are red, green and blue. The color that will be displayed will depend on the numerical value of each sub-pixel. If the coding uses 8 bits, each sub-pixel can take a value between 0 and 255. For example, to obtain the color plum, in decimal coding, it will take a mixture of three colors according to the following values of shades, 129 for the red, 20 for the green and 83 for the blue. In binary language, the conversion of the decimal values gives the values that we see displayed. These are the values that will be processed by the electronics of the LVDS system to display this plum color. On the screen, an image is displayed pixel by pixel starting from the left side to the right, and from the top to the bottom. The number of pixel lines on the width of the image multiplied by the number of pixels on its height determines what is called the image resolution. Example in a full HD image, there are 1920 pixels per line on the width and there are 1080 lines on the height, which makes a total of 2,073,600 pixels. The higher the number of pixels in an image, the better the image resolution, on 16 to 9 format screens, an 8K image for example, contains 33 million pixels. A distinction is to be made between image resolution and pixel density. Image resolution as we have seen represents the total number of pixels in an image, however pixel density is the amount of pixels that can be found on a square inch of the screen. One inch is equivalent to 2.54 centimeters. Pixel density is measured in PPI which means pixels per inch. In the video signal, in addition to the RGB color information, there is an information concerning the organization of the scrolling of the lines. This signal makes it possible to display a line after another, it is noted H-Sync. This word is a contraction of two words. The H means horizontal and sync the contraction of the word synchronization. The video signal has another additional information called V-Sync. This is also a contraction of two words. The V stands for vertical and sync for synchronization, it is the vertical synchronization signal. It allows to synchronize the display of one image after another. This video signal entering the motherboard will be routed to the LCD display through the LVDS system. In this system exists a transmitter noted TX, located on the motherboard and a receiver noted RX located at the level of the TCON board. Between these two devices are the LVDS cables. The transmitter and receiver are electronic devices of the integrated circuit type. The video signal is transmitted to the input of the transmitter in parallel form. That is, each digital value of the signal has its own input in the integrated circuit. In order to limit the number of cables between the transmitter and the receiver, the data will be transformed from parallel data to serial data. The receiver will perform the reverse operation, i.e. it will transform the serial data into parallel data so that each sub-pixel of the LCD display receives its own digital value. This configuration is that of a data converter from parallel to serial. It is known under the name of serializer. For the reverse operation the component that transforms serial data into parallel data is called deserializer. In technical documentation they are called CERTES, which is a contraction of the words serializer and deserializer. The following animation shows a transformation of an 8-bit binary number entering in parallel on the serializer integrated circuit and then ending up at the output of the deserializer in the same form as when it entered. The data will arrive at the same time on the input of the converter. To simplify this animation and to follow the conversion operation, the entries will be displayed successively. Each new value is put one after the other. Here the operation of conversion and deconversion is finished. We see well that we find the same data in output, with as advantage of this system to make transit a lot of data between the two components with little wire. In the binary number that we see on the screen, each bit has a position and a weight value assigned to it. In comparison with the decimal system which uses digits from 0 to 9. The number increases as it goes from the unit, to the 10, 100, 1000 etc. In the same way with a binary number, 
The weight value of a bit depends on its position and also increases from the right to the left. The bit furthest to the right is the least significant bit or LSB, while the most significant bit is the one furthest to the left and is known by its abbreviation MSB, which stands for most significant bit. The concept of weight value with a bit that it is LSB or MSB is important for the organization of the order of the bits of the colors RGB in the circuit LVDS. There are two standards, also called two formats, which are VISA and JADA. The VISA it is the acronym of Video Electronic Standards Association. The majority of the large manufacturers of television or data processing material belong to this association. The other standard JADA is the abbreviation of Japan Electronic Industries Development Association. It is an organization whose role is to establish standards for Japanese electronics. On this diagram is represented a converter of parallel data to series of 18 bits corresponding to 6 bits for each color. All the information will transit through three pairs of LVDS cables. The clock signal is transmitted alone on its own line. Although there are several pairs of wires, we consider the whole to be a single channel with several LVDS lines. On the schematics and on the electronic boards, you will find the inscriptions that identify each wire. TX is the abbreviation for transmitter, RX for receiver, OUT for output and IN for input. To complete this identification, we add for each line a number in the acronym plus or minus because as we saw in the previous video, a pair of LVDS wires has the same signal on both wires, but one has a positive polarity and the second has a negative polarity. Here, the signal of the clock has been noted in abbreviated CLK. The inscriptions may vary from one scheme or inscription to another. For example, to identify lines, letters of the alphabet are used instead of numbers. On this diagram, the coding for each color is done with 8 bits which will require an additional pair of wires because each pair of LVDS line can admit in this example only 7 bits. This rule can vary and will depend on the converter used. This configuration of coding on 8 bits is known as LVDS 24 bits, one single channel. For the inscriptions, it's the same thing, adding an extra inscription to take into account the addition of a pair of LVDS wires. On this figure, we see an example of LVDS cable. We notice several colors and some are twisted by pairs. The blue and white cables which are twisted by pair correspond to the various LVDS lines carrying the data. On the other hand, the red wires correspond to the VCC power supply and the black wires are for the connection to the ground. This diagram may look complicated. It represents another configuration, where the number of channels has doubled and the number of LVDS cables has increased. For the inscriptions we will always find two letters to make the distinction between the two channels. For the first channel, we find the letter O which is the first letter of the word odd. For the second channel, the letter E is used, which is the first letter of the word even. Now we come to the notion of visa and jada. On the diagram, we see the order of passage of the bits in each pair of LVDS cables. Each line carries 7 bits. In the visa standard, all the two MSB of each color are put together on one of the pairs of wires, named here LVDS3. On this line, the empty box has been named NC for not connected. Sometimes we can find the letter R, or RSV, which means reserved. For the JADA standard, the order of the color bits is different. On the pair of cable LVDS3 are grouped all the two bits of LSB of each color, contrary to the standard VISA, where it was the two bits MSB. This difference has consequences on the display of the colors on the screen in the event of non-correspondence. Here is what the display looks like in case of format error between VISA and JADA. This is due to the fact that the two standards do not use the same order of display of the color bits. This display error is to be distinguished from another display error called solarization of the image. It is not due to the VISA or JADA format but to a gamma defect. This VISA and JADA format problem can be solved in two ways. The soft way is to make the change by accessing the menu service of the television. This is a hidden menu that can be accessed in different ways depending on the TV model. You just have to find the line corresponding to the LVDS format and then select the appropriate standard. The second way is to intervene directly on the hardware and in particular on the TCON board. This can be necessary for example if the LCD screen has been changed by another model. To make this modification, the role of each pin of the connector must be determined using the technical documentation. So how to read this documentation? 
First, on this 30-pin connector, you have to identify the reading direction of the pins. Here pin number 1 is on the left as indicated by the red arrow. Pin number 30 is indicated by the black arrow on the right. The cables carrying the LVDS signal are identified in a simple way with the letter R for receiver followed by a letter of the alphabet, then the acronym more or less. The video signal is carried on four pairs of LVDS wires named ABCD. This configuration is that of a 24 bits LVDS with a single channel. The datasheet indicates that pin number 9 is used to select the LVDS format. If pin 9 is connected to GND which means ground, we will get the VISA format. On the other hand, if pin 9 is supplied with VCC, we will obtain the JATA format. Another example here to show, how to interpret the inscriptions on the electronic boards or on the technical diagrams. This configuration is that of a 24 bits LVDS with two channels. There is an odd channel, highlighted here in yellow. We find the first letter O, of the word odd, followed by a number 0123 and a plus or minus sign. The second channel, highlighted in green, has the same inscriptions but changing the letter O, by E, that of the word even. Let's see another example with the datasheet of this chip. LVDS is replaced by LVS for short. The identification of the cables uses the letters of the alphabet ABCD followed by the letter O, for the odd channel, and E, for the even channel. The plus and minus symbol has been replaced by the letter P, for positive, and N for negative. If we look at the technical documentation we find two pins number 21 and 22 named CFG1 and CFG2 which is an abbreviation of the word configuration. The datasheet gives the indications to set up the two pins according to the needs. Pin 21 CFG1 is used to choose if the LVDS is a single channel or a dual channel model. Pin 22 CFG2 is used to choose the LVDS Visa or JATA format. Let's go back to our TCON board to see how to make this Visa or JATA modification. We have seen from the documentation that pin number 9 is the one that will be used to make the modification to obtain either Visa or JATA. The first four pins colored in red correspond to the VCC input of the TCON board. The black color corresponds to all the ground wires. The white and blue correspond to the wires carrying the data of the video signal. We can see that pin number 9 is connected to a resistor and is not connected to the ground so it receives a VCC voltage. The TCON board is in JATA configuration. This VCC is usually 3.3 volts and it is different from the VCC supplying the TCON board which is 12 volts. To switch to VISA format, pin 9 must be disconnected from the 3.3 volt VCC and then connected to ground. The resistor connected to pin 9 is first removed and then connected to ground through a low-value resistor, usually 4.7 ohm. Before finishing, notice on this TCON board the existence of five pairs of conductive tracks, reserved for the transmission of the video signal and the clock signal that accompanies it. Each pair of tracks ends up on a 100 ohms resistor. In troubleshooting, we can check at the level of these resistors, if the video signal is present, either by looking for a voltage of the order of 1 volt, or to be more precise, with an oscilloscope capture this signal and obtain an eye diagram by superimposing the two curves V plus and V minus of the signal. We arrive at the end of this video, I hope that the explanations were clear and see you soon.